hey, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. This is the third time I've said this, but this is one of three vlogs I'm starting in one go. You're welcome. I'm sorry for future editing me. Anyway, so <laughs> these vlogs in whatever order they will come out in, I don't know yet, but they are in preparation for Yalk. So there's a good number of authors coming to Yalk and there's a good number of books I want to have signed. So for this one, funnily enough, it's the only vlog I'm starting with just one book and also a book that's barely 230 pages. So this vlog might change along the way, but as it's starting out, it is um, it is a Kaylin Bayron kind of a vlog. It may be also a very short vlog. We don't know. But um, so I've read a couple of her books before. I've read Cinderella instead, this Poison Heart, and this Wicked Fate. I had to check on my my balcony. It's on that side. My bookshelves. Um, also, I have Oliver just there judging me. Yeah. This is very helpful. Anyway, so this is, I believe this is the latest one that's come out. Uh, it's You're Not Supposed to Die Tonight. I'm intrigued. It's also a very short one, so this might either be a very short vlog, as I've just said, or uh, it might turn into, like, reading for 24 hours kind of a deal see how many books i can read in 12 i don't know yet um but this is what it's starting as it might change it happens we evolve possibly what's this a book what's this book about i don't know i'm guessing it's like a murder mystery because this is the vibes i'm getting also, that Die Tonight part is giving me murder mystery. So, what does it say? At Camp Mirror Lake, terror is the name of the game, but can you survive the night? I don't want to go to camp, okay? This might be why. These kinds of things. <laughs> Charity Curtis. Oh, we're starting off well with the name here. Okay. Right. Um, okay, Charity Curtis has the summer job of her dreams, playing the final girl at Camp Mirror Lake. Guests pay to be scared in this full contact terror game as Charity and a summer crew recreate scenes from a classic slasher film, The Curse of Camp Mirror Lake. The more realistic the fear, the better for business. Yeah, I don't want to do that, ever. Not even with jokes. Okay, but on the last weekend of the season, Charity's co-workers begin disappearing. Yeah, that's, that's, this is why you don't do things like this, okay? <laughs> and one ends up dead. I've seen a lot of movies, okay. Charity's role as the final girl suddenly becomes all too real. If Charity and her girlfriend, Bezzy? I don't know. Hope to survive the night, they'll need to figure out what the killer is after. But as they unravel the bloody history of the real Mirror Lake, Charity discovers that there may be more to the story than she ever suspected. First off, Charity, that's a stripper name. <laughs> Had to be said. Had to be said. There we go. Yeah. I mean, it's sure to be a very fast read. Also, when I uh, unboxed it, the font in it is very large. So, I feel like I could read this in an hour. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Let's try not to do that. I don't have enough, like, thin books like this to, like, do a read as much as I can for 12 hours kind of a deal. Um, but that would be fun. That would be fun. Also, if you know like books that are like 200 pages, um, ish, let me know. Recommend me some books, cause that could be fun to do. It might also drive me insane, but it could be a laugh. I don't know. Sounds like something I would drink a lot of coffee for, so yes, I would go insane. 
Kid be a laugh, kid be a laugh. Anyway, um, I'll uh, come back to you once I start. Yeah, let's see where this vlog goes. Because right now, the possibilities are endless. Anyway, see you later. So, it is time to sit down and read this book. I know I did an intro. It's funny. Um, I still don't know what to do with this vlog. But uh, I thought I'd just sit down, read this book, film my reaction. It's about 228 pages. How many was it? 200... 28 pages uh, and the font is quite large so I imagine it shouldn't take that long to read there's like notifications going off from everywhere I put on a kind of like mood light thing it switches colors I don't know what that's going to do for the editing um, as you can see it's now kind of orange I don't know. Uh, I'm honestly just going with the vibes. So I'm going to read this. I have a cup of tea uh, here. I have a donut because it's the weekend. Hence my, why my hair is like this. Um, it needs a wash. Um, but I didn't feel like washing my hair right now. So I did this. It kind of makes me look bold and I'm okay with it. <laughs> it's comfortable okay I'm just keeping it real I'm just keeping it real anyway um gonna read this one so we'll see we'll see what we'll we'll see how it goes a book you can stop and updates along the way I mean I guess you could but also if you do that you will spoil the whole book and I'm gonna try not to do it this time so you're not supposed to die tonight is a how to best phrase it it's like all the classic slasher films rolled into a book. Chef's Kiss, I was very hooked on the whole thing. I mean, yes, I did go, 
uh, a lot about how the characters are being very stupid, um, but that's just part of the slasher genre charm, I suppose. Um, honestly, make this into a movie and you will have a classic slasher flick. Yes. Yeah. Honestly, I cannot fault this book. Um, sure, you know the whole like slasher film thing is that people always do what they're not supposed to do and very much holds true for these characters and they're like, they're kind of, what's the word? Basically they're like, yes, I know I'm not supposed to do this but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> So it's not like in the movies. This is literally like, yes, I know they do this in the movies, but uh, I'm going to do it anyway because this is what I need to do. <laughs> I kind of loved it. Honestly, yes. Um, yeah. Well done. Well done. I, I, I have absolutely nothing else to say about that. So basically what it is, um, Charity Curtis is like the, not head counsellor, but she's like in charge of the other kids that's working at the camp. And the camp is sort of like a, I don't want to say amusement park, but close enough. Uh, it's basically a simul terror simulation that you go into knowing you're going to get freaked out but still it's like what the fuck happened um that's basically uh the gist of the whole thing oh sneezed so basically the book starts with them being at camp they're doing the um i guess reenactments scenarios kind of thing and the whole thing is based on this movie from the 80s? Anyway, long ago, uh, and they're just kind of reenacting it. Well, they've changed a whole lot, but they're re reenacting the whole thing, really. Uh, and it's this, well, it's this terror simulation, and it's like, why the fuck would you pay a bunch of money to go out in the woods to get scared shitless? I mean, I can, I can see it if you go to, like, places that have cell reception <laughs> but this is in the middle of the woods and uh, no i would not do that not even if i got paid to do it no no thank you could be from the fact that i don't really like going into the woods because bugs mm, doesn't mix but yeah um this has probably been the shortest video I've done in a while, and I'm okay with it. Uh, so yes, thank you so much for watching. If you want a slasher flick reading thing, go read this book. Honestly, it's such a fast read, you, you might enjoy yourself. Uh, and I shall see you all next time. Until then, take care. Oh, bye-bye.